Hello everyone and welcome to another Random Bits and Pieces segment from my brain. And today sit a while, for we are playing some more Brigandzine. So in the last episode I did something a little bit weird, maybe. Uh, I purposely ran away, trying to give es Esgaris a little bit of room to maneuver and help me against New Almikia and it kind of backfired. New Almikia took that uh, particular castle with their vast collection of ghouls and Norgard managed to take that castle here. So uh, I lost two castles. I did gain one because I did win down here in Salisbury. So with all that said, I only have to protect four castles, so I only need 12 knights, so I have seven people going on quest. Uh, hopefully they bring me back monsters or items or new knights or something good. And I won't have uh, a lot of really strong units. Uh, I have a lot of good people going on quest with good uh, with good squads, so that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge again, I think. So, uh, especially, especially in the castle that I just captured over here, uh, there's a good chance that it gets taken back. Uh, and it's not my attack team, and Leoness is not gonna be in there, uh, so it's gonna be defended by the computer, and it's not going to be very strong. Uh, ironically, my Probably my strongest or second strongest unit is going to be here in Aston and it's going to be my attack team and Lianis is part of it. So, uh, assuming I don't lose Salisbury, I, I'm only going to have one option and it's going to be to attack uh, right up here in Carnabon. So, alright, uh, as usual prior to the video, I rolled my teams. I also set. Uh, like, Isfus didn't uh, really have a unit, so I gave him some monsters. Same with Galloan. So I gave him a little bit of a unit. Nothing really great, but I mean, it is what it is. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start moving people around. So I already hinted that Leoness is coming down in Aston, which is our favorite location ever. Uh, Isfus is staying there yet again. He's he likes it up north, I guess. Uh, and he's staying there with Charlie. Uh, Philo and Sophie are going on quest. Alright. <clears throat> now, Baleen. Is going all the way over here. Uh, Galloway is going to be with Leonis. Down here. Uh, Raisin stays here with. Isfus and Charlene, Logborg and Teet are both going into Salisbury. So you can see why it's not going to be all that strong over there. That you know, I don't think Dynadon is cowering in fear looking at that. Janfadar might because I kill him every single turn, but uh, all right. So ear, uh, sorry, ear. Uh, Asmith is going with Galloway and Leoness is going to be part of my attack team. Uh, Cortina is going over ear, and Kilaf is going on quest. And finally, Oron is coming here with Teeth and Langeborg. Chantel is going over here. And Yorg is going on quest. And 
all three here go on quests. Paternus, Vanessa, and Clarence all go on quests. And that should do it for this turn. By now you should know the drill, gotta save. Now let's check to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Uh, all right. All right. All right. I didn't forget somebody over here, did I? Nope. And here. I totally expect to get a sandwich attack in Salisbury, let's see. So with Marriott here... Oh yeah, they are coming for me, I can guarantee you. Of course I cannot attack here, I just move those guys. Now if my attack team would have been here I would have been able to attack because they all stayed there from their original location so if that would have been my attack team I would have been able to launch an attack and I would have launched it against New Almikia because oh god yeah that wouldn't have been easy <laughs> oh wow okay yeah they're probably gonna go ahead and take yeah Vanard you're going to disappear soon what about here not great either. Oh boy. I think I'm starting to get into trouble. Yikes. Not good. Well, kinda saw that happening. Alright, and I won't be doing that uh, defense, so let's go with. Let's do Oran, Teeth, and Longborg. The weight of a sword is the weight of life. Can you bear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you fight against me, you better be prepared. Alright, that's something we haven't seen yet. probably gonna lose this which means that maybe I'm gonna just retake it back from Aston next turn Have Marriott over here. Yep. So we've seen them all. We've seen Marriott. We've seen Lakara, and uh, we're getting sick of Dynadon already. At least I am. Uh, yeah. We don't have anything too great here. It's it's not gonna be pretty. Hopefully, I don't lose too many monsters before the computer realizes that he needs to run. When I did my rolling in a dice, I saw that particular squad, I I knew right away that it was going to that it was going to happen. I knew even before I moved the knights into the castles and everything.
Ow. Lots of dragons. Oh boy, Langborg is putting himself uh, to danger there. Because as we know, he's really, really smart, or at least he believes he is. Or at least he leveled up. Yeah. Could have been better. Awesome. What is it with griffins that just love to go and attack Dinodon? Like he has white on him. He, you're not gonna hit for very much and you're gonna take a beating. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that, that unicorn is going to attack that centaur. Yep, get the kill with uh, Oran, that's probably the best you can do here. <laughs> So Oran is pretty strong, as, you know, as a unit by himself and everything. It's just his unit that I have put up together for him is not all that strong yet. Maybe one day. Oh boy. Okay, that works. Dynadon cannot block this. Of course, he's probably gonna attack it next turn and that Jin is gonna die, but... Breath attack, breath attacks and spells is pretty much the only thing that Dynadon is not very good uh, against because he cannot avoid them. Yeah, really smart move there. Not. All right. Oh, she's coming slowly. She's taking her time. She knows that she usually just jumps into trouble and gets killed. So she's like, yeah, Dynadon can handle that. I don't need to do anything. Alright, not a, not a stupid move. I'll take that. Decent little level. Alright, the hurt is coming. Yikes, that hurts. Okay. Now is my gen going to avoid an attack? He sure didn't. A couple more like that and he's a goner. Not avoiding a single attack, that's not good. Ugh, how dare you attack my unicorn, such a precious creature. I'm sure the unicorn tastes delicious.
Oof. It's probably not gonna stay alive, huh? Oh no, not after a crit. Oh! It has eight, eight points left. It's dead. So I lost a unicorn. I'm about to lose a gin. And a griffin. I have not avoided a single attack. Oh boy, that gin is gonna kill both. And that, kids, is why you don't have the computer do the defense for you. Because most of the time, it's completely horrible. We've been surprised uh, a few times uh, many episodes ago where we won quite a few uh, where we won quite a few battles with the computer defending but lately it's, it's a bit back to normal Saw that coming. Yeah, let's at least kill something before we leave. Even if it's not much. To come and attack over here again to get this particular castle because it's a little strategic to get this one. Uh, so that's probably where I'm gonna attack next turn. Alright, we're killing a scorpion. That's oh barely too. Alright, so we lost that castle. Um, unless we get attacked in Aston, we should be getting it back to all. Paternus quest. Exhausted from his journey, Paternus visits the local tavern. A drunk swaggers up, so we've seen that many times, so let's skip. We're getting an item. A black spear, awesome. I can give it to uh, Vanessa. Philo quest. Philo passes a flower girl on the street. So we know that as well. So which flower is she getting? A yellow daisy. What is the yellow daisy giving? Agility. Agility plus one. Maybe not the most important stat for her, but we'll take it. Clarence quest. Another flower girl. Wow. She's gonna get poor giving her all of her flowers away. A white lily.
So plus two intelligence, that's okay. He does have a few spells. So. Paternus, Philo, Clarence. Alright. So I only have teeth or ear. Alright, I need to move. Logborg over here. Move Oran over here as well. I also need to bolster their units because they've lost a little bit. Paternus, Philo, and Clarence are going back on quest. Nothing in the, in the reserves here, so you're getting a level 1 monster. Let's see. 82. Oh god. Okay. Um, 82. Have yourself a giant. Font. And a scorpion. it for him now if I look over here Longborg has room for 74 nothing in the resorts there either seventy four that's forty five plus two oh god Have yourself two centaurs. I'd rather give you two centaurs than a golem and a scorpion. Okay, well. Not too scared of uh, the units, so yeah, I should be all set. We're gonna go ahead and save this, and we're gonna try to retake our castle because it belongs to us. All right, I'm not even gonna look. Let's make it a surprise. Let's just attack. Go. Uh, I'm gonna go with let's do uh, Asmund, Galloway, and Leonis. <coughs> you will not win by force. Victory is in the planning. Show you the right way to use a sword. Okay. Alright, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should have looked before I attacked. Doesn't change much, that's where I was coming anyway. So they have Marriott, they have Dynadon, and they have Sierra. So Sierra as a Tiamat, and Dy uh, Dynadon as a Silver Dragon. It's not gonna be easy, but I can do this. I have a level 1 scorpion, I am all set. I have everything I need to win this. And a level 1 golem right here. That's that's some uh, elite troops here. Oh, I need to uh, I need to keep my vampire alive. 
it's really hard to get a vampire lord from scratch, like leveling up a ghoul all the way to a vampire lord. It's a lot harder than it looks like. It's hard if you just like play the game for playing the game. If you, I mean, if you absolutely want a vampire lord, obviously you can like force feed it some kills and whatnot, and kind of tweak your gameplay around that. And that's totally possible. Uh, but I mean, it's not like vampire lords are so incredible that it's worth doing. But just through regular gameplay, it's pretty hard to make that uh, to have that happen. At least I have a few eaters. Of course, Galwin's unit would have been a little bit more useful had there been water. But uh, you can't always win when you use random, which is the whole point of this this entire playthrough is to see if I can win by having things picked randomly for me. Start coming. So they're spreading the troops around so that I can't move too well. As we've seen in the past, the computer tends to do that a lot. And all it does is it really weakens him because eventually I'm going to go through his troops. And I'm going to advance anyway. Plus, he has Marriott, so he's going to probably come right in front of my dragon here to attack Asmin. The golem went there, sorry. Alright, that's good. We'll take a... Yeah, that's probably even worse. Sure, you hit me for ED3, but you're gonna die next turn. Okay, so I want you here. I want 
you to get the kill. Because you need XP. That's a pretty good level for a Gavoin. Pretty happy with that. Now you can come here and attack this, I suppose. He's gonna use his breath next turn anyway. And you're potentially gonna die eventually. Right, bring your monsters in so that I can catch them in my early words. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Ow. Yeah, turning that to stone would have been pretty awesome. Just bring them near. There's plenty of room. My turn to have fun. Let's Something. Hello. <sighs> what do I want to do here? I think that's. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I would probably go with uh, with a divine ray, but I think that's gonna deal more damage. Yeah, probably about the same. is gonna happen from this and now I get mad yeah not that much Ow. 
It wasn't necessary to crit, Marriott. be enough I think it will usually I would cast react but yeah I probably should have it given the XP to Leoness but <sighs> all right it's too late now and of course that giant stays there and he's in the way Now Dynadon is gonna attack. Then he's probably he's either gonna run away or he's going to heal himself. He's the only healer that they have. Wow, that Marmon is uh, yeah was a nice distraction for a second, but now oh, he's pretty much dead. <clears throat> bye bye, Marma. Poisoned each other. All right, I was starting to <coughs> I was starting to get a little worried when I saw Leanna's HP. Uh, yeah. stupid to do that because they are going to attack prior to retreating so let's get it give me a little bit of XP with Asmet and let's go ahead and get 
my monsters back to form so they don't die. I mean, I don't really care about the level 1 scorpion, but I do care about the other monsters. So. My level 1 scorpion might die regardless of what I do. myself a free poison fine. Yeah. yeah, I probably shouldn't have that 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 might die. That will die. Oh, no. That golem decided to attack the level 1 scorpion instead. So I stay alive! Alright, so we retook the castle we had just lost. Not a great level for my time up. Cool. Okay, that's that's an alright level, I guess. And I captured a giant. Can't do it. Oh dear god. Alright, that's not good. Oh god. Alright. <clears throat> there's there's only Norgard left to help me. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Norgard's pretty much toast too, so. It's gonna be very difficult for me because New Almikia and and I explained that a few times, New Almikia and Carolion won't need to worry about anybody but me. So yeah, that's gonna be really tough. Alright, kill off quest. Kill off finds a beautiful waterfall deep in a hidden valley. Thirsty, he kneels down to take a drink. Slowly amid the rainbows formed in the waterfall's mist, the figure takes shape. It is Undyne, Queen of the Water Sprites. Kinoff tries to hold perfectly still as Undyne begins to sing. The otherworldly song dazzles Kinoff as it unlocks his hidden power. Undyne fades back into the mist. Alright, so so far we've pretty much only seen when a gnat flies into the nose, so that's the other one, and oh, that's good. 10, 10 HP for Kinoff, that's pretty good. Paternus quest. Paternus stumbles across the ruins of an ancient castle. As it is getting late, Paternus decides to sleep inside. In the night, Paternus awakes to voices. Carefully, he follows the sound to a near nearby room. Inside, a group of ghostly knights are arguing over something on the table. Each apparition claims the item for himself. When their quarrel comes to blows, Paternus chuckles at the ludicrous spectacle. <laughs> Instantly, the ghost knights focus on Paternus. Um, hello? The quarreling ghosts unite in anger against Paternus. Paternus tries to flee, but is quickly surrounded. Just as the ghosts start to strike, the sun rises and they grudgingly disperse in the light. Left behind on the table under a layer of dust is the Flurry Fist. Paternus takes the Flurry Fist. Alright, so that's a monk with a... Uh, Grappler weapon, I don't think monks can equip that one, I'll have, we'll have to check. 
Yarg quest. Yarg is walking through a misty forest when he spots an odd flower growing in the moss. Fascinated by its exotic beauty, Yorg picks the flower and absorbs its fragrance. Suddenly, Yorg becomes drowsy. Poof, he is asleep. When Eorg wakes up, the flower is gone. Strangely, his mind feels more focused. So plus one intelligence for Eorg, that's that's cool, we'll take it. Alright. <coughs> now the fact that there's an alliance between Carolian and you and Mikia wouldn't bother me if I were playing normally and that I would have my super strong units, I would just be tearing through anything anyway. Uh, but that's not how I'm playing right now, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Alright, so I am going to probably get some knights. Lady Leonis, there is a knight who wishes to join us. Oh, there's a mistake in your name here. Your name is Rokad, not Rokand. Once leader of the Holy Knights, I was devoted to the Empire. It's gone now. I lost everything I believe in, and I don't know where to turn. Will I join you to seek the path of truth? Sure, Rokad, you can. So Rokad is a knight, and he's not all that strong, and he's the only one we are getting. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at him. So Rokad is really not all that good. Uh, is a knight, he's level 11, he has 177 room power, as you can see the stats are really not that great, the only thing he has really going for him is that he has 4 rune area, and that's decent, other than that he has absolutely nothing all that great that stands out for himself. He is 29 years old, once a leader of Almikia's Holy Knights, but the court priest Paradol convinced him to support the coup. Now that Zemikis is defeated, he fights to protect the people of Forsyn. Alright. Alright, so did I get... <coughs> I don't think I got anybody that can be promoted. I sure didn't. Here, have yourself a Frost Edge and a large shield. Welcome to Leonia. I hope you're ready to fight because it's not gonna be easy. Alrighty. Alright, so... My god. It's wow, it's gonna be tough. Alright, they have a few monsters. Oh, oh good, good. They got Belgar, he comes with a guy and tease. So that's gonna help them. Alright, so yeah. At least they have a few monsters, so they may not get attacked right away. They have a few good monsters, so they may be able to survive and kind of stay in their corner there while I'm trying to trudge back in. I might need to help them here. Look at that. I need to kill monsters. Oof. Look at that. I don't remember seeing the computer with that eye of a level monster before. This is downright nasty. Whew. Alright, and uh, also said of note is you might see Lance is now a king and not a prince. That's because Lance, uh, New Albuquerque is the country that defeated Ascaris, so by doing that, uh, Lance kind of 
reconquers his father's land and becomes a king instead of a prince so he gets stats boost, boost and I believe that he gets Gino Bolt as a result so yeah I might I might not win Man, we're all that way uh, into it I, I do have good units and everything but I mean it's not gonna be easy I keep saying that all right, so we're gonna go ahead and save. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. So as usual, thank you for tuning in. And if you've liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. That's always appreciated. And until I roll this game again, see you guys next time. Thank you.